Hey everybody, this is Penjamin15. We're going to review another pen. We're going to review the Zebra X701 ballpoint. And of course, I am Penjamin15, your uh, friend in the uh, journey of uh, learning about writing instruments and stationery. Okay, so I was a little hesitant to review this one. I'm not a huge fan of the tactical uh, pen because um, I don't know how this provides tacticalness, but I was looking at it and nowhere on the packaging does it say tactical. I mean, it has words that you kind of associate with it, you know, military, uh, extreme, and, you know, military-esque words. But uh, the more I kind of dug into the review, uh, the more I realized that, you know, that's just my hang-up. Here's the thing. If you like writing with a pen, then that's the best pen. Okay, these are just opinions. Everybody's different. Everybody writes differently. Everybody has a different purpose for writing. And if you've got something you like, rock on. All right, so what makes this different? Uh, why would it be different from the, the F701, their hugely popular ballpoint pen, all metal body? Well, this, I think it's made to be a little bit more rugged. That pin click is a little bit more robust. You need a little bit more pressure. The spring is much stronger. I do like that. Nice strong clip and a loop for a lanyard or whatever you can think of. Uh, okay. What I did like about it is it doesn't have one of those uh, larger diameter, super squishy pin grips. It just has a textured grip and it's kind of unique. And it's a nice wide body, so you don't, you know, typically with the smaller diameter, uh, diameter pins, excuse me, I'm kind of, I'm putting too much pressure on it. I don't know why, that's just my hang up. But it feels very good in your hand. Okay, let's crack this baby open. A little bit more pressure. I guess that's the tacticalness of it. Okay. The F701 would have a... Uh, metallic refill in it. This one is a pressurized uh, refill. So I, I'm not exactly sure what the PSI rating on that is. The other pen that I know of that is pressurized, of course, is the Johnson Space Pen. Um, but the, the whole point of pressurization is that you know, at a conventional writing angle, most ballpoint pens work fine because gravity is forcing the ball to the tip and there's no issue. The point of the pressurization of the refill, let me just pull out one of these other refills. I do like the fact that you get two different color refills right off the bat when you purchase the packaging. Okay, so this is their blue probably. So the whole point of the pressurized refill is not only can you write at the conventional angle, but maybe you have to write, you know, when the paper is perpendicular to the ground, like maybe you're writing on a sign, or if you're writing upside down, or something silly like that. Uh, the pressurization and the fact that it is ballpoint, so since it, since it is an oil, it should write on um, moisture surfaces. I have a, a friend that sent me a request in TikTok for a recommendation for something that writes on, you know, waterproof paper. So I'm assuming this will probably be the best bet or the Johnson Space Pen. Or, you know what, if you need to write on something, Sharpie is probably not going to fail you. All right. So just some academic stuff on this pen. It's made to be usable at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. That's good to know. But if you find yourself having to write in 250 degrees, perhaps you've made some poor life choices and you need to reconsider. Okay. Usable at negative 30 degrees. Okay. That one I want to say is more practical than the 250 Fahrenheit uh, because there are some places in the world where it gets to that. I'm not too sure 
about the positive 250, but the negative 30. Okay. Uh, you can write in extreme weather conditions. It's drop approved. Personally, uh, every pin that I have can be dropped. Now they don't they don't all survive it, but it is a sturdy body, and all pins. <coughs> I'm never really worried about the body when I drop it, unless of course I've got some type of just super fantastic um, writing instrument or a fountain pen or something where the nib is very delicate. If I was worried about dropping this, it would be with the the tip exposed. If you drop that, there's not much that's going to happen. But surprisingly enough, uh, when I write with these, you know, tactical extreme pens, I don't have uh, a very fun experience. This, on the other hand, I could see putting this in my pen bag. This was very enjoyable. Now, it is a .7, but of course, since it's ballpoint, the line is going to be much thinner but that's the at attributes of the ballpoint but this is another example of how I prejudged something until I actually put my hands on it and used it uh, I like this pen I really do like it I don't care if I'll never use it at uh, 250 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 30. Uh, I will use it in southwest Louisiana where the humidity is about 4,000 percent and it's always perpetually 90 degrees uh, when we're not suffering through quadruple hurricanes or Godzilla attacks or whatever Louisiana's lifestyle has to offer. All right folks thank you so much for putting up with me uh, like I said, this is a good pin. If you have a chance, check it out. Thank you.